Hey guys, it's Lydia here from Creator Studios, and today we're going to be checking out the November Maker Box. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so to start off, I just want to let you know that I did not purchase this Maker Box. Now, this Maker Box, um, I won from a giveaway on YouTube, Fusitech 3D Printing Giveaway. Uh, and when he announced the winners, I was so surprised that I won, and I've never used a MakerBox or printed with MakerBox filament, and I've always wanted to, but I didn't want to pay the $25 or whatever it is per month for just four samples of filament, but um, I'm super excited to um, print with this and whatever's inside. So uh, on the back, for me, it just comes with my information, and it just says MakerBox here. And then when you open it, it says, um, get your fill on. I think that's really cool. And, of course, on the inside, they have some Haribo's Golden Bear Gummy Bears. Um, I will save those for later. And then I get these uh, two stickers, one from MakerBox and then one from PrintedSolid.com. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. And then here, instead of on most of the filament bags, it will give you a discount. But on here, it uh, lets you know some information, um, how to receive a free maker box, join the community, what should you print. Um, same thing on the other side. And then here is a uh, big discount card. Um, and so it gives you 10% off with the discount code down here on this side, sorry. Um, another uh, thank you for purchasing your maker box, even though I did not purchase this. Um, this little uh, card, um, this just has a whole bunch of different companies on it, as you can see here. And then first off, what we have is this Winter White HTPLA from Proto Pasta. Now this is a really cool filament. This is one of their glitter filaments. Um, I've never printed with blue PLA, so that will be really cool to test out. Um, it lets you know all the information here. So it says hot end temperature is 190 to 230C. Bed temperature is room temperature to 90 C, 70C. Sorry. Um, print speed is 30 to 90 millimeters per second. And then it gives you some info on this. Um, the next filament is recycled PET. So I've never used recycled filament. The only filament I've really used is um, nylon, PLA, and ABS. And again, this um, lets you know print settings. Now it also shows on this one if you need any adhesive on the bed, like glue stick, hairspray, whatever. And this says you don't, and then it just gives me more information. Uh, this says it's a company refill. I've never heard of them. Next, we have... N-G-E-N -E Copler S Copler Ester. Not really sure how you say that. Um, this is from ColorFab. Also listed again the um, information. Um, they do have barcodes on all these, and I'm not really sure what those are for. But you could just get the barcode app on your phone and scan it. It would probably bring you to their website. This is a silvery color. It's like gray, but shiny um, so that's pretty cool and the last filament we get is uh, POM ACETAL black um, palm acetal I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right again but um, this does range from 215 to 230 Celsius and this bed temperature is 130 so this is probably like an ABS and so as uh, 130 degrees Celsius, there's probably going to be some major warping because I do not have my cover on. It is under here, as you can kind of see in the corner. That's where I store all my filaments when I'm not using it. So um, this is from Gizmo Dorks, and I did try to get some more filament from Gizmo Dorks, but they could not at this time. So hopefully, I will be doing a review on Gizmo Dorks filament um, sometime in the future if they can send me some. Also, I will be coming out with three more videos about Tesla's filament. They reached out to me. They said they really liked my video, 
and now they're going to be sending me some translucent yellow PETG, which I've never printed with, and I'm really looking forward to that. Some purple PLA, which will be really cool to add to my colorful collection of PLA, and then aluminum PLA. Now, thank goodness I have my all metal hot end because that will let me print with this aluminum PLA, and I cannot wait for that because um, what I know is you can um, shine up your filament or your print, your aluminum print, and make it all shiny. And I can't wait to print with that, so stay tuned for those videos. But uh, so let's just print all these filaments. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to print. I don't think I'm going to be printing one of my maker coins just because. I'm not really sure if there's enough filament. I might be just printing um, the 3D fill, which is, again, one of my favorite prints. I just love printing that for test prints. So that's probably what I'm going to be printing. So let's hop over to my printer. This one, this is a TiVo Tarantula. Now, I have not gotten my TiVo Tornado yet. Sadly, I've been waiting and waiting, and there's some hard communications through um, Chris Leonardo, the CEO, and I just really, really hope I will get that printer eventually. I just really hope I'll be getting that printer and starting to print and review that printer for you guys. So let's just go to print. And I'll see you guys after all the prints. So I finally finished printing all four of these sample filaments. I also forgot to mention that um, you probably want to 3D print a spool holder for the sample filaments. It makes things a lot easier. Um, I still had a lot of trouble um, getting the filament untangled and not knotting up. The, gold, the silver filaments um, I did have to cut because it got in this big tangled mess. But um, I printed the spool. I will link in the description. Um, the link to this STL on Thingiverse. I did have to modify it a little bit. I used my Dremel and um, shortened it down a little bit. It was a little too big for these samples, um, but I did get it to work, and I just used these extra screws that I had to fasten it up and some 15-minute epoxy to make sure it doesn't bend. But um, let's just hop up a little closer to check out how all these printed. All right, so the first one I printed was this copolyester um, PLA-like filament. I printed this at 230 degrees Celsius with a 65 degree bed. And as you can see, this 3D fill did not finish. Um, uh, again, like I mentioned before, I had a little problem with um, the filament getting in a messy bundle. Uh, it just fell off the spool. So that was a problem, uh, but I printed this overnight, and overall it printed it fine. Um, I'm not really sure. It kind of clogged also, but uh, I really like the shiny, um, silvery part of this filament. It looks really cool, and it's kind of got a little bit of glitter in it. The bottom layer did perfect. It adhered really nicely, and then these overhangs underneath here and everything else turned out pretty great. This second print, um, again, I had an issue, but it wasn't as um, early as this one down here. Uh, but this wasn't a tangle issue. This was a, I don't know, a clogging issue. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, 
but this was the recycled PET. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. Um, but I really like the green, shiny transparentness of this filament. There was a little bit of stringing inside. I cleaned it up with my heat gun, but um, these are all completely hollow, so if it would have finished, you wouldn't have known that it um, had some stringing inside. Um, but overall, I really like the shininess of this filament. It is pretty smooth. Um, I had a little problem down here, but um, I really like this filament. The third and only filament that finished was um, this Proto Pasta uh, glitter filament, and this is by far my favorite print I've ever printed. Favorite color. I just really, really, really like how this turned out. I really like this color, and I probably in the future will be purchasing a spool of this. Um, this was super easy to print. Again, it is hollow. There was no trouble with this. Um, the spool, the sample I got wasn't um, all knotted, and when I put it on the spool holder, it turned out really nice. There was no problem. Uh, and again, the bottom layer is perfect. Um, these overhangs under here, you can barely see. Also, all these uh, details and everything turned out really nice. And again, this is my favorite print. Now this final print, as you can tell, was a disaster. So again, like I told you, it is 130 degrees Celsius for the bed. And like I said, it would probably have some major warping. And as you can see, it was terrible in its warping. This foot didn't stick. I even put a lot of glue stick on there. Nothing stuck, but it just held on by a little bit and that's why it completely finished. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of cracking here. Uh, this failed up here totally. Um, there's just a lot of splitting. You'd probably need a um, closed container or an enclosure for this. Uh, but again, I didn't have that up. It's just really sad that this one didn't get to print all the way. But um, I really thought it was a cool filament. It is kind of shiny like everything else. So that is it for all of these fills. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. Um, I really hope you liked this review on this maker box. I had a lot of fun printing and experimenting with these filaments. Uh, stay tuned for more videos just like this, reviews and other 3D printing videos. Um, I will post a video every single week. Um, I try to get a video out every single week. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. Again, to stay tuned for more awesome videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.